I am doing standard five on forces and circular motion. I picked number 18 out of chapter five. This question tells me there's a ball that weighs 0.7 kilograms that's attached to a rope that is 1.3 meters long and that rope and the ball is attached to the pole. And um, it tells me that in the entire apparatus, including the pole, rotates about the pole's symmetry axis. And it tells me that the the rope makes the angle of 70 degrees with respect to the vertical. So there's my angle. And then they're asking me for a tangential speed. So the first thing I did was I drew a free body diagram of, for the ball. Um, I have gravitational force pulling down on the mass of the ball. There go my mg. And then I have the tension of the rope pulling up on the ball um, diagonally. And um, that is my tension. And then this is my um, angle of 7 degrees. Opposite of angle is sine, adjacent is cosine. This right here is my radius because it's telling me that it's going, um, rotates about the um, pole's sym symmetry axis. And um, I have uh, my length right here, which is the same thing over here, 1.3 meters long. And then to solve for the tangential speed, what I did was um, I did all of my sum of the x components and sum of y components. And then um, all of my x direction, I have the, tan um, the tension, which is negative um, negative x direction, so I have negative tension times sine of 70, and since it's accelerating in the, um, in the, the x direction, because it's, um, it says it was rotating, uh, yeah, rotates to the, um, pole's symmetrical axis, and then the, um, the angle was respect to the vertical. So I know that my acceleration is in x direction. So I know it's linear because it's not going like following the angle. It's going around the pole. Um, for this one, I saw um, after I find my uh, all of the x components, I saw for t, t equals negative mv squared um, over sine of 70r. I don't know v on this side and I don't know t, so I can't solve an equation that has two unknown variables. So I go over to my um, um, sum of y components and then t is positive in this direction, so it's um, positive tension, cosine of 70, and then gravitational force is pulling downwards, so it's negative mg. Solve for t, add m to the other side, divided by cosine of 70. I know my mass, I know my gravitational force, and then um, I just plug in the number, I got the tension of 20.08 newtons. And then now, I want to solve for the tangential speed, therefore, I have v squared over here, t equals... And then I just took this t equals and I plug it in for this t. Therefore, I came up with this equation, negative mv squared over sine of 70r equals mg over cosine of 70. The mass cancels out. And since this is square right here, this negative shouldn't matter. So I'm solving for v, multiply um, sine of 70r to the other side, and then square root both sides. And I got v by itself, v equals mg sine 70r over cosine of 70. I don't know r yet, but I can solve for r. So I go up here, since r is sine, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So I know sine of 70 equals opposite over hypotenuse. My radius is the opposite and my adjacent, um, not adjacent, my hypotenuse is the length. I know my length and I'm cos cosine of 70. I multiply length to the other side and I solve for r. So I got the radius of 1.22 meters. I plug r into this equation and then now I can find my tangential speed because it's the only missing variable. So I plugged in all the numbers and then I came out with the um, tangential speed of the ball is 2.35 meters per second. And that was number 18 of chapter 5.